Hello, my name is Drumat and I'm currently close to reach my goal in my unranked master series, mainly by playing roaming champions such as Pantheon and Talia. Pantheon is a mid, top or occasionally jungle champion that early in the game excels at killing the opponent on lane or roaming a lot. We will discuss how you can learn, practice and master this champion in order to gain elo. I believe this rework is one of the most successful ones and can truly make you feel like a man while playing it. Currently, I recommend to play him in the mid lane, mainly because you counter most annoying matchups. You should have a decent time against champions like Katarina or Fizz, and you should stomp champions like Kastin. I believe playing him mid lane is better because of the easy roam potential towards bot lane. His only counters are champions that have repel abilities such as Syndra or Veigar, but in those cases you can either target the enemy jungler or roam more. Your main goal, as stated before, is either to get kill on lane, to kill the jungler or to roam bot and get kills there, gaining a large gold advantage so you don't fall off in the mid to late game. For summoner spells you should go ignite and flash when you play pantheon on lane. Ignite even on top is better now since teleport has a rather large cooldown and allow us to do outplays much more easily. If their jungler ganks you and you are full HP in lane you can just turn on the jungler and kill him with ignite in your full combo. For runes we're interested in Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity and Cup de Grace with secondary inspiration and time warp tonic uh, and also biscuits. We are using these runes because of Pantheon W and Corrupting Potion. The inspiration tree helps us in lane a lot by giving a lot of extra heals that can turn the fight around. Your main build order should be this on the screen. Always use Corrupting Potion when fighting and Biscuits, especially early on for extra healing. We are interested in getting, in getting Boots early, then parts of Yumus, then Moby Boots, then completing Yumus and going for the Black Cleaver, which stacks nicely with our W. After that we can either go for Health Reduce, Execution or Into Bow, or we can go for GA and we can go for more Lethality items depending on needs or tank items. Get at least a Vision Ward once every two backs and place it in the river bushes towards Drake if you are mid, or towards mid if you are top. His ability max order is his ultimate first, then Q, then W, then E. Some people like to max W after Q when they are ahead to stun more targets in a teamfight and close gaps. Other people prefer to max F for survivability. His abilities are quite simple, your passive is a bar that stacks 5 times by auto attacking uh, or abilities. When it is fully stacked your next basic ability gets enhanced effects. His Q, you attack forward with your spear on tap and if you hold it you throw it. If you throw your spear the cooldown is doubled basically, so you don't want to do that too often. Unless you want to farm a cannon minion from a safe distance or to get the kill. Your Q deals extra damage to low HP targets so use it as an execute. When your bar is fully stacked you should use your Q to poke the enemy, if you don't plan on fully engaging. His W. You jump on your target doing a mini stun. If your bar is full you will do 3 quick auto attacks on him, stacking your bar again. This is useful when engaging because if you quickly stack Conqueror and Black Cleaver on the target you will deal lots of damage. 2 more auto attacks and you can do a fully stacked Q. I generally immediately Q if after W I want to chase the target down so I have my Q back in 4 seconds. His E you block all damage from the direction you specify for some seconds. This is this can enable some very easy dives and if your bar is full you block damage a little longer. At the end of your cast whenever you stop it you slam your shield down dealing some extra damage. His ultimate, the main roaming tool, point and click at the location on the map nearby and you'll jump and deal damage in that area. No full bar effects for this one, sorry. Try to fully stack your bar before using your ult so you can jump with your fully stacked W instantly after you cast it. You can stack by doing small cues in the air on the way to the roam. For micro gameplay, for micro gameplay, sorry, on lane at level one, I either go for Q if I intend to poke from a distance versus other melees, and do full stacks Q on the opponent, or I start W and jump immediately on the target if they are ranged. You should win almost all trades in the early levels against any champion. Your main goal is to reach a kill early, so your all-in combo would be fully stacked W, two autos or Q fully stacked Q, E to block incoming damage from the tower or from other stuff, auto attacks and then Q slash ignite and finally you can throw a Q towards them if they flash. Always abuse the extra damage from the fully stacked Q on low HP targets, try to catch them off guard with a Q throw as I do in some of these clips. If you do feel like you have 
time chasing the opponent, you can start the combo with fully stacked Q into W for more burst, and you can do your combo as before as we talked. Some extra micro stuff, consider thinking about where the enemy jungler is and see if you can 1 versus 2 them. Always think about using corrupting potion and biscuits, or like take down bone plating before fully engaging. Do clear fights and don't risk when you are 25% HP and they are 100% HP unless you are sure you win. If you get cock blocked by a Vagar or Syndra just to roam. Keep your E for the big stuff, so Vagar ultimate, Syndra ultimate, lots of lots of ultimates. You will be surprised on how efficient it can be when used right, so practice that. For micro gameplay I generally wear the top side buff, so I know where the enemy jungler is at some point. And sometimes I push early, level 1, and at level 2 I roam on their jungler and kill him. So if you're blue side, they're red, if you're red side, they're blue. I try to win most 2 versus 2 with my jungler by delaying him until he comes to lane. If I don't have success on getting kills in lane, I get mobbies and move bot. I generally use my ultimate only when I'm 80% sure I get the kill. Generally it can be a cleanup kill on top lane, so for example your top laner just died, or the most successful type of gank, roaming bot. Do not be afraid to back off immediately after you fail your ult, you do it badly, don't, don't overextend, don't dive stupidly, just back off. Just go for sure dives and don't lose trades by doing so, by randomly dying. Your macro goal in the first 15 minutes is to be everywhere and to survive and doing so. Generally you can push lane, roam, recall, get back to lane without losing much if you have mobbies. If you play Pantheon top, your aim will be to either help mid as much as possible or occasionally alt bot to get the tower there. Consider that the opponent will either teleport or get your tower, so get another objective instead. Focus on getting the first tower bonus elsewhere if you roam. You should strive to win the 1 vs 1, but be aware of matchups that are difficult, such as Mordekaiser, Darius, Ilaoi, and maybe a good Irelia and some others on top lane. So it's a bit more difficult there. Use the mobbies. Don't rely only on your ultimate, so roam with your mobby boots as well. Have good vision control generally and keep an eye open for everything else on the map. Pantheon requires you to be as attentive as on Talia, because this is a Talia channel, knowing well when to move your butt from the mid lane towards other lanes or towards your jungler or towards objectives and when to push and when to go roaming. Learn to time your ult properly. Find the perfect zone and get something on every single roll. Don't cast your ultimate without getting anything or just back off if you fail it. In the mid to late game, use your advantage to get picks on random people that extend and secure buffs from that, so drakes or barons or towers. You want to play like an assassin in general, not like a bruiser, so get the kills down. The biggest mistake that you can do is die 2-3 times while also having bounty on top of your head every time. because. The enemy team will just scale off your bounty, so you're not really helping your team if you get 3 kills and then die and then get 3 kills and then die, because you're practically boosting the enemy team as well, if your team does not get more kills in the meanwhile, obviously. Anyway, here are some other resources on the screen, and I really hope this video was useful and you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos and guides. Goodbye.